Alright guys, even here, and Hidetada Yamagishi just brought an amazing conditioning. This was insane, this is crazy. He was so crisp, so dry, so peeled to the bone. This is another level of conditioning. This is not something you can see at every show. You cannot see this very often, almost never, basically. I mean, this is... look at this, look at this, this is crazy. This is insane. He's peeled to the bone. There is basically nothing on his body except muscle and bone. There is all skin and there is muscle underneath the skin. There is almost no, no fat whatsoever. I mean, I mean, how is he even alive here? Is his body fat percent like zero? I don't think that's possible, but he definitely does look like he has no fat on his body right now. So an insane package of him. Um, this was probably crazy to do something like this. He was probably risking his life. He was on the verge of life and death right here, I'm pretty sure. He did won the show, but it wasn't that obvious that he's gonna win it because these guys standing next to him were not his level of conditioning, nowhere near his level of conditioning, but they were a bit bigger, I'd say. They look fuller and they look more fresh, they're younger, they don't have um, like these short biceps that Hide has and the signs of Palombism or whatever. He's aging, he's like 45 right now, so the under, younger guys looked a bit more impressive from that standpoint, but this kind of condition cannot be ignored. And also, many people are commenting on judging criteria, that it is changing. That the judges are not looking simply at the best conditioning, the most shredded glutes, but they are looking for lines, they're looking for symmetry, for proportions and stuff. But I don't think that's the case, <laughs> apparently nothing is changing. Because Hide was not the most muscular guy, he was not the most well-shaped guy, he was not the most symmetrical or whatever, he was simply the most conditioned guy. And he out-conditioned these guys by too far, and that's why he won. And I think he deserved this victory, because this kind of conditioning cannot be ignored, this must be rewarded, because this is like jaw-dropping, jaw-dropping, this is not something you see very often. So yeah, in my opinion, well-deserved victory for Hide. He is an aging bodybuilder, he's 45, I didn't expect him to improve at this age. I was expecting him to retire anytime soon, but apparently he's still pushing it, and he's bringing better package year after year. So let's take a look at 2018 conditioning at Arnold Classic. I'm pretty sure that for this competition he was prepping with Milo Sharchev. I don't know if he did it this year, but I don't think so. I think I never saw any posts from Milo, so maybe he didn't do it. If you guys know, let me know. But as you can see here, he looks impressive. Sure, he looks great, but nowhere near as far as conditioning as he was today. Nowhere near. I mean, look at the glutes and the lower back. He was watery, he was a bit fluffy. Not fluffy by any means, this is also peeled. But what he brought today at Europe Dallas is something, it's a new level, another level, and he set the standard very high. So unless he repeats that shape in the future, he will probably not place as high, but we'll see about that. Even though he does not have the best lines, the most aesthetic physique, he's always placing very high. He has a lot of muscle in right places, and right now he has probably the best conditioning in not only 212, but also in whole bodybuilding in the world right now. I mean, if you consider pros, maybe there are some lightweight bodybuilders who are more defined, but with this amount of muscle, he's probably the most shredded person in the world right now, with this shape. And you guys, tell me in the comment section below if you can think of anybody who has better condition than this, because I don't think so. I mean, these photos here are very high quality, so you can see, you can see it very well, that he is dry, that he is basically at zero body fat percent. Anyways, whatever you guys think about his conditioning and his very shape, the overall package that he brought at this competition, tell me in the comment section below, don't forget to do that, and also don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this. All the best guys, bye bye.